won the Serie C slash C and gained straight promotion to the Italian Serie B. We have had a party the last week here, I can tell you. So now, welcome to the Hunt for the Scudetto episode 9, which is going to be the last episode of season 1. So we're going to have a preview, sorry, a review of the players and the team, and we're going to play two matches today. Let me show you. We are going to participate in the Italian Serie C Super Cup by. We are going to play against Triadina and Alessandria, the two other winners of the Italian Serie C leagues. As we know, we did win the Italian Serie C with a big, with a large margin. With a goal difference of 62 goals, we just bossed this league and we're ready for the Italian Serie B. The other two teams we're going to play in the Italian Serie C Supercoppa is Triestina. They did win by 9 points, pretty secure promotion for them also. And in the Italian Serie C slash A, Alessandria did win promotion in a very close race for the promotion. Now let's get straight to it. This is the players who's going to play in this Supercoppa. We are going to start out against Alessandria who did lost lose their first game in the cup we have a lot of injuries we have a, su a suspension for dario bagamelli we have an injury for vives Komi, and alex but the support players you know like rovini we have taramano conato will have his chance today and pina mancha of course will start on the top let's go win this trophy and end the season winning two trophies the italian Serie C slash C and the Italian Serie C Supercoppa. Let's do this. Here we see the two formations. Alessandria is coming to visit Silvio Piola for this game. Let's get a bit passionate or what? A sort of... Yeah. Take it easy guys. We should be able to win this one. Here the two teams are entering the pitch. Not a full house today at the Silvio Piola. This is late season. And let's see if we can go and beat Alessandria and challenge for this competition. Here is Rovini, who's playing instead of Alex today. As I showed you, we can see Alessandria there in very good morals. Got their promotion in a strong promotion race here is a corner kick from Alessandria but Murkia picks it up and starts the counter attack Murkia runs with the ball finds Germano he can find Pinamonti he should finish this attack he does but it's wide over the goal but great counter attack keep on go going guys I can already see that the next season is going to be very challenging almost half of my players is loanies we don't know if we can extend some of the loans we're going to come back to that later but now let's beat Alessandria first it is Alessandria on the ball Nico and a big chance for them now two great chances in both ends of the pitch I want to see more from you guys it's once again Alessandria on the ball Bonate misjudged it and Gonzalez can finish it he couldn't even hit anything Fifty-seven, fifty-six percent of ball possession. Eight shots, two on target. We are in control, stats-wise. And half time's coming up. You certainly need a lot of confidence. Yeah. I'm of course disappointed. We should be able to get more out of our chances. I don't think we'll change anything at half time. Let's go and pick this up, guys. Here are we, 10 minutes into the second half. Nothing much happened. It's very, very even at the moment. Maybe we need to do a substitution. Here's a corner kick from Amarilla. Alessandria clears it ball out to Castilla with the crossbar. Keep on going, guys. We're getting closer. 
We don't have nothing, nothing from the bench at the moment because of all the injuries. But here's Morikia. We know he's long shot. These long shots are so dangerous. But this time he missed the goal just by the tap. Okay, what do we do here? All right, we change it up in midfield. I put in Fabrizio Paguera on the defensive midfielder. He'll play as a ball-winning midfielder. And Luca Castiglia will go to the bench. 20 minutes left of this game. Still nil-nil. Torin for Mamorella. Here is Paguera. Germano for Murkia. Changing it all over to Calabria. Here is Kano Chief. We haven't seen him all game. Can he cross it? Get another assist. Here's Germano. Oh, once again he hit the crossbar. We hit the crossbar. Come on, guys. Free kick for Mamorella. She died, can I get to it? What happened? It's a beautiful goal from Murgia. I watched she die, he fall down. But no penalty, a goal instead. What a great goal. Let me see it again. Mamorella, another assist from. What the happens in there? Murgia gets it in for sure, and we are 1 0. We haven't impressed today, but what a goal! That we're going to remember. Another one from Murgia. Now he gets a yellow card. Hopefully no suspension for him. The next game is going to be the final in this Italian Serie C Supercoppa. Last chance of the game. Germano finds Pagera. And this must be over. Here's the final whistle from the ref and 1-0 victory at home at Silvio Piola good stuff guys now we're getting ready for the Triestina final match of this Italian Serie C Supercoppa and of course the yellow card that Morgia picked up in the last game has put him into suspension now this is the game we're going to play against Triestina, against Triestina and it is the final the winner of this game and go home with the trophy. I'll put in Fabrizio Paguera to start in the defensive midfield as the ball winning midfielder. Then we move out Castilla to play at the advanced playmaker because of Morgia's suspension. We're going to miss our absolute star in midfield. But as we know, our other midfielders also had a crack of a season. So let's get this trophy against Triadina. This is absolutely for our fans. Here we go, it's final time. We're entering Triestina Stadium. A rather large one, and Triestina with the kickoff. Here we go. Half an hour into the first half, let's encourage the guys. Nothing much happened still. This is so very even. But we really would like to win that trophy now we're in the final. This is a boring first half, I must tell you. Have we seen a highlight at all? I don't think so, now it's half time. We haven't impressed at all in the first half. Now let's go change that, guys. Please show me a highlight or two and a goal, please. Here we are on the ball, Castilla. Free kick from Triestina, a quattro, Finazzi, there's Calabria, he clears the ball, with the first attempt, still Triestina on the ball, back in Italy. that is so wise, gets it back to Pigliacelli, now let's create a chance, show me a highlight guys, kicks the ball out, finds Rovini, there's space, run down the left flank, yeah there we go Rovini, are we ready in the box? Pignamonti, almost, Castilla, there's no sign on Canote, that is a goal, Mamadou Canote, he finished off a magnificent season with goal in the final, brilliant setup, started with Rovini, he's run down the right, the left flank, look at this, bye bye, he tries to find Pignamonti, he can't get to it, it ends up with Castilla, who finds Canote, he has a lot of room, he will score for 1-0, we are getting close to feel that trophy, Two th trophies in the first season. I 
that's not bad guys goal kick from Pilatelli all the way up to the Triestina defense and they can set something up Kotoromas we are pressuring the ball Kanoche is running Jidai clears it Aquatro gets it Liputi come on with the tackle Batosa that's why I put you in great stuff playing 1-2 with Germano and Rovini here's Castiglia the long pass for Pignamonti let's close this out Pignamonti okay he's been tackled by three defenders from Triestina no chance there can they pull something out here may be a counter for Serafino and the finish it's wide important guys please concentrate two one nil victories in this Coppa Super Coppa tournament that's professional Castilla and a great cross here the goalkeeper clears it Pinamachi gets his goal he finishes off his season with a goal in the final and he has a birthday today there we go my man Calabria for Mathurin Castilla look at this cross from Calabria the defense is in trouble and Pinamonchi gets his birthday goal. Salute Pinamonchi. Are we going to get a another one? It is a penalty. He did push him in the back. Who will shoot the penalty and make this 3-0 in the final? It's Rovini. And he misses of course. He missed the penalty. Fuck it. 2-0 still. We have a couple of minutes. Here's a corner kick from corner kick from Carlo Che. G Dyke gets to it. It's close. It's getting close. That looked like a free, free kick. It is. And let's take this home. One minute left. Batosa with the free kick. Gerav, Germano, Castilian Germano. Take your time. Finds Carlo Che. He loses the ball. Pignamonchi gets it. Rovini and back to Kanoche. Can he get his second? But Pignamonchi can get his second. It's going to be 3 0 for Provacelli in the final. Great stuff, guys. Sliatin had no chance. And they're going to be the competition next year in the Serie B. Maybe the situation will be a bit different. Rovini, great pass to Kanoche. He's been tackled. And Pignamonchi, once again, he is at the right place at the right time. 3 0, guys. That is strong. Let's keep the clean sheet now. Get it out of there. Canoche. And it's over. Our second trophy. Here it is. Let's party another week, guys. And into the summer. Summer holidays. What a season. The first season. I've been with Provacelli. The city is happy for the two trophies. The first half was so boring. The second half brilliant guys that's how to do it invisible force achievement thank you Provacelli you're doing magnificent guys superior finishing mad scientist leads Provacelli to glory once again it's been a great season And Alex is hot the tip for the Italian CLC player of the year. And now it's time to take a look at our players for the season. Fans play of the season. In first place, Alessandro Morchia with 48%. That cannot be different. Fantastic season. In second position, Luca, Luca Castiglia with 23%. Bit surprising, but he is a club man from Provocelli. In third, Alex with 18%. He's been injury prone, but when he played, he played on another level than this Italian Serie C. The goal of the season. There's been so many fantastic long shots, especially from our midfielders. And we have to go and check out this goal of the season from Luca Castiglia against Matera. I think there could be 10 goals nominated in this category from our players, but it was against Matera. Morchia for Castiglia. It is from long outside. He won't shoot. He finds Pinamonti. Alex and there we go Castilla. It is a beautiful setup. He hits it into the back of the net. Goal of the season. Congratulations for Luca Castilla. You will be here next season. I hope so. He's one of the few players who's on a contract with us. The young player of the season. It's going to be Alessandro Mochi as well. 
absolutely fantastic. Now the Provocelli commercial director has reported on the club's commercial activity and as we see we are making a little bit money and the top 5 player shirts sales this season first one Castilla, then Murgia, Germano, Vives and Alex that's missing a couple of but you uh, but you can you can never know what what's going to happen but our finance 2.8 negative at the moment with the promotion to Serie B it's going to be very interesting if we can do anything but we will try to bring back some of the loanies from this season Now, at the end of this season, we're going to take a look at some of our key players. We start with Alex, who claims the player of the year in the Italian Series C slash C. Alessandro Murgia managed to come in at second and Luca Castiglia at third. That is brilliant and so well deserved these players played magnificent. The top scorer almost from the beginning of the season until the end has been Federico Piovacardi from Tanana. Alex comes in at third with his 16 goals and 11 assists, we come back to that. Provincial players named in the team of the year, Balcamelli in defense, Vives, Castiglia, Morgia. The, the midfield, the Provincial midfield has been magnificent. Pina Monti on top, no doubt about that. Now I have some good news already. We have managed to bring back Davide Calabria for the Serie B season. Our right fullback, that is so important. We just signed an extension of the loan deal from Milan. And there's more. We have managed to extend the loan contract with Alessandro Morgia. He will be back for the Serie B season. Look at this 10 goals, 5 assists, 7 man of matches, 7.55 in average rating. This player is going to be magnificently important in the Serie B season. And I can continue, because Andrea Pignamonti, he will be back for the Serie B season. It's already so very important. He had a fine season in the Serie C, and he's going to develop. He's just had his birthday, he's now 19 years old. Such a talent. We did manage to bring back Alex. Alex, let's see what's going to happen in the transfer window. But what a season. 16 goals, 11 assists, 8 from penalty, 7 playoff matches. 7.42. I hope some of these players would have. They have the mad scientist, Alex. My man, brother man, Provocelli at the favorite club. That was what I was hoping. Let me check Monke as well. The mad scientist. We created a bond with these players and Provocelli. No wonder why they're coming back to Silvio, Silvio Piola. How about you, Calabria? Nope. And no, okay, that will come later on. Let's hope that. Now we saw a couple of the players. Mamadou Kanate, we can loan him back. So uh, we're going to see if we can get him, in, get him in, in from Benevento in any other way. But look at his season 10 goals, 10 assists, 3 man of matches, 7.16. He was great also in this season. Umberto Gamano, he's still on contract with us. He's been great, there's been so much competition on the midfield, but he scored some goals and assists. We like that. Pagela, he's done alright. He could be a nominee in, the, in another loan, but we have to see what we can get. We have extended Vives' contract for one year. He'll be 38 when the new season starts out, but what a player he's been. He can play another season in Serie B. Carlo Mamorella, also, he'll be 36 this year, so important this guy, 6 assists, all assists from direct free kick, that's fantastic, not from direct free kick, but from free kicks, strong strong season from our team captain, he'll be here next year also, I do believe, and Balcamelli, he's 4 goals, playing strong in defense, he was on the team of the year in the league, he'll be here next year, probably, and this guy, Mirko Pigliacelli, he will be joining in a moment to be a permanently player on the Pro Vicelli team. And what a season this has been. We're moving up to the Italian Serie B. I'm looking so much forward to that. Next season is going to be challenging, but our main target is to get to the Serie A. 
And we finished off the season by winning the Italian Serie C Supercoppa. So lots of success to Prova Chile. Hopefully this will continue. Thank you for following this series. Until next time, subscribe and like and all that stuff. See you guys.